Hello friends, welcome to this operating system class and in this class we will see the sleep and wake up problem in the critical section. And in today's class we will see what is sleep and wake up problem and how this problem will be solved by the producer and consumer problem. After that the usage of flag bit, how the flag bit is used to, to solve this particular problem. Okay, Let us see all those things in detail. In the critical section problem the sleep and wake up it implements the blocking mechanism instead of busy waiting ok. So, in this sleep and wake up two system calls are there first one is sleep and second one is wake and if any process calls this sleep means that will get blocked that means the calling process will suspend by itself until another process waked up this is the use of a sleep system call and next while the process calls wake then the process will get waked up that means the sleeping process will get waked up by another process not by itself ok. Once the process goes to sleep mode then some other process should come and waked up. Here if the critical section is not empty that is the critical section is executed by other process then the current process will go and sleep that means the current process will call the sleep system call right and the current process will wake up by other process which is currently executing inside the critical section ok and the process will get inside the critical section that is the current process will get inside the critical section for example we are having process 1 and process 2 and both are wanted to execute the critical section first initially the process 1 is executing the critical section that is critical section is busy busy now ok which one process 1 is currently executing the critical section now the current process process 2 which is try to execute the critical section but it is already busy hence the process 2 will call sleep ok the process 2 will call the sleep system call hence it will goes to sleep mode and after completing this execution of critical section by this process 1 then the process 1 will call the wake wake system call ok and the process 2 will wake up from the sleep mode then the process 2 will enter into the system call that is critical section right. The producer and consumer problem which is a very popular example uh, for this sleep and wake up. So now we try to understand this sleep and wake up by using this producer and consumer problem. Here also we are having two processes the first one is producer which is writing something on the buffer and second one is consumer which is reading something from the buffer ok. So this is the producer this is process 1 and this is process 2 process 2 is a consumer process 1 will write something on the buffer ok every time it writes something the count will be incremented and the consumer this is the another process this will read something from the buffer ok every time it reads the count will be decremented by the consumer in producer consumer problem the count variable is common for all the processes it is a global variable of type integer the count is a global variable of type integer and this is common for all the processes that means at any time there is only one process can change the value of this count ok and when come to producer the producer produces an item and inserted into the buffer that means the producer can write something on the buffer slot see once it writes something on the buffer slot then the count variable will get incremented ok that means whenever the producer writes on the buffer slot the count variable will get incremented until the count reaches n that is all the buffers got filled see once the buffer is filled then the producer will call the sleep system call and then the producer will goes to sleep mode.
reduce cell will goes to sleep mode okay when come to consumer side okay the consumer will read something on the uh, buffer slot isn't it see once the consumer read anything on the buffer slot then the count variable will get decremented the count value will be decremented by 1 right see whenever the consumer consumes something from the buffer slot then the count value will get decremented see if all the buffer slot got uh, read by this consumer then the count value will be zero once the count value will be zero then the consumer will call the sleep mode the consumer will call the sleep mode okay that will goes to sleep state here the important thing is the consumer will wake up by the producer see this is the producer and this is the consumer the consumer will wake up by the producer this particular producer if there is at least one item available in the buffer if at least one item read by the producer because the consumer is ready to consume this particular buffer slot isn't it hence immediately the producer will wake up the consumer so likewise the producer will be waked up by the consumer okay if at least one slot available in the buffer so that the producer can write that okay when the producer is in sleep mode if there is one slot is available for writing the producer then immediately the consumer will wake up the producer for writing something on the buffer slot right and now let us see the problem in this uh, producer consumer problem okay if the consumer got preempted before uh, it about to call the sleep system call when the consumer will call the sleep system call if there is no item in the buffer to read by the consumer then immediately the consumer will call the sleep system call okay see before calling the sleep the consumer will be preempted okay now the consumer will not in the sleep state and this will not consuming any item in the buffer isn't it but the producer will not aware of the state of consumer because the consumer is not actually in the sleeping state isn't it because it does not call the sleep system call therefore the producer will keep on waking the consumer okay but the consumer is not responding because it is not sleeping and the problem is wasting of system calls because the producer will continuously call the wake up call for this consumer what happen when the consumer get scheduled again immediately it will call the sleep system call isn't it so from the ready queue it accepts the cpu then immediately it will call the sleep system call because it was about to sleep when it was preempted okay now the producer keep writing on the buffer see the producer keep writing something on the buffer continuously and got filled after some time okay and got filled after some time see once the buffer got filled then the producer will also go to sleep state okay because it thinks that the consumer will wake him up when there is uh, a slot available in the buffer okay if there is any empty slot then it think that the consumer will wake him up but what will happen the consumer is also in the sleeping mode and not aware of the fact that the producer will wake him up because both the producer and consumer are in sleep mode now to overcome this problem we can use this flag bit flag is a boolean variable to get rid of this particular problem here the producer calls the wake up system call for the first time then the producer will set the flag into true when come to consumer the consumer got scheduled immediately it will check the flag if the flag is 1 that is the flag is true then the consumer will know that producer tries to wake him up okay therefore it will not sleep that is the consumer will not sleep and get into ready state immediately to consume uh, the buffer slots okay whatever produced by the producer 
the consumer ready to consume the buffer slots okay see by this way we can overcome the problem uh, by using the flag bit the flag bit works only for one pair of producer and consumer if there is only one producer and only one consumer we can use the boolean variable flag okay if there are n producer and n consumer then the flag bit is not suitable uh, we have an integer variable in which we can record how many wake up calls have been made by the producer by the producer and how many consumers need not sleep okay see this particular integer variable is called as semaphore we have already seen semaphore in the previous video itself please watch that semaphore to know how the semaphore will solve this multiple processor uh, problem right up to this we have seen what is sleep and wake up and the producer and consumer problem as an example for this sleep and wake up and the usage of flag bit and semaphore to solve the problem uh, while solving this sleep and wake up okay and this is the question time how the producer wakes up the consumer student please write your answer in the comment box and in the next class we will see another important problem from the interprocess communication okay thank you